Hey guys, it's Jake here. Jake's Trap Line. Uh, a lot of, a lot of people. Well, I had somebody ask me if I could uh, make a short little video on how to remove castor glands from a beaver in the oil glands. I know there's a lot of y'all out there that know what you're doing, but there's uh, a few people that have been trapping beaver for a long time and just sell the beavers on the carcass to the fur buyer and you know never have removed them but besides that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to remove the castor glands and the oil sacs from a beaver uh, it's fairly simple you just need a knife and a pair of scissors mainly I use a pair of scissors I that's my best tool for doing it but uh, I'm gonna go ahead here and show you how I remove them uh, if you look at the beaver, if you got a male, there will be, these right here are testicles, they're up high. The sex organs are up high. You don't want them, that's testicles. The oil, oil sacs are right here next to the vent. Right behind the oil sacs is the actual castor glands. What I do is I take a pair of scissors and I just cut the membrane on the outside it cuts fairly simple but you want to pull that membrane back because you don't want to cut your cat your your glands your castor glands you just want to get that membrane started to remove and once you get that membrane you can kind of pull and remove see right there that is the castor gland that's what you want and a lot of people don't realize that the casters are actually worth money uh, it's not that you're gonna get rich with them but if you catch quite a few beaver you can uh, sell your caster you can send it into the auction house and it'll be sold along with the hides every year the price varies from sale to sale but I think the last time I checked it was like $35 a pound for a caster after you remove the glands, you just hang them. I take uh, my push pins that I use for my hides and I stick them on, uh, on the wall and I let them dry for a few days if I'm gonna sell it to the outside is dry. The inside takes a long time to dry. You don't wanna dry the inside, but if you're selling them, you want to dry the outside of the gland and then you just throw them in a Ziploc baggie or a jug you got in the freezer and freeze them. Now you can tell this is a male because he has testicles. There's his sex organ. Alright, we got them caster, the caster sacks pulled back. We are going to pull, pull on this testicle here everything ties that's the thing with beaver everything ties to their vent so we're going to clip that back leaving a little bit on there so your caster doesn't all come out when you cut it and you pretty much just if you go gently and you pull that membrane back go nice and easy you can get your caster glands pulled out and are you about ready to eat? yeah just about okay, and well, put the in there. okay and you pull back and you cut down there that ties to the vent that's how I remove them and then you have caster glands right there pretty small beaver small caster but what I do like I said I take a push pin and I like to because right where the vent tied in it's open a little bit I'll grab that membrane with this push pin push it through and then I'll tack them to the wall on my 2x4s and have them spread apart have something two more pins holding them apart so the air can hit them and then it'll dry about two or three days drying in your garage and then you freeze them and then you can sell your casters. The oil sacs are pretty much the same way. You just pull the membrane back, 
they're a little bit more forgiving they're a harder a harder sack but you do I do one at a time some people take them both off together but where the oil gland goes into the vent cut there you have a little bit left you just take your scissors and you want to remove that membrane you don't want to leave that membrane on there because as they're drying that membrane will sometimes rot and then when you're rendering it down to make a lure or a bait you don't want it rotten you want that true smell to the oil I save mine because I make my own lure and I make baits but a lot of people don't realize that these are the casters you can send casters to the auction they don't want oil sacks but the oil sacks are valuable to a lure maker or a bait maker such as myself because I add this into my baits and lures different formulas that I make pretty much and then I cut trim even more off You want to make sure you have all that membrane off now, I mean it's okay to have a little bit on but you just want to make sure all that big heavy meat is removed before you hang them to dry these oil sacks some people age caster which is fine I age some of it for for lures that I make uh, but these oil sacks They'll only dry so far and then the oil's in the inside and you'll lose oil inside of them if you leave them hanging up for too long. So after three to five days, the oil sacks go into the freezer. So I have them when I need them. You don't want to waste that oil. The oil will just start seeping out of the sack when it's drying and then it's just wasting your beaver oil. But same thing, just like I just done. Just cut that membrane off, get it started off. Some of it pulls off, some of it you can. But I never once used a knife here. Scissors, to me, scissors are easy. So it works good for me. Everybody's got their own deal that they do. Uh, I've just gotten used to using scissors. But I hope this video helps you out. Uh, hopefully, if you skin a bunch of beaver every year, you can remove the caster glands and make some extra money on your trap line. Extra money is extra money. A lot of people say they don't have the time to do it, but if you got the time to skin a beaver, you got the time to uh, remove your caster glands and your oil sacks. Like I said, the auction house won't take the oil sacks, but they want the casters. Beaver casters, uh, they actually use these for many purposes, perfumes, and it's also uh, used for vanilla extract. So hopefully that helps you out. It's Jake with Jake's Trapline. Rate, subscribe, God bless.